Welcome to the channel. This particular vehicle you find it almost everywhere and it will go to any country with any terrain. So if you are in South Africa in the deep rurals, you can go to Lesotho, Swatin, you can go to Botswana, Namibia, Angola, Niger, Mali, Mauritania, you can go to Sudan, Ethiopia, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Malawi, Congo, Sierra Leone, Eritrea, Djibouti, Somalia, Egypt, wherever that you can think of. This car, it will take you there. So this is a 2023 Land Cruiser 76 LX V8. So yeah, you are talking of a serious vehicle here. So as usual, we are going to do our normal walk around of this vehicle. And then we are going to jump inside as well. And also this one being uh, a masterpiece of Africa or the master of Africa, I definitely had to ask for those keys. So uh, right now you can see you've got uh, these good uh, Dunlop tires because obviously if you're looking to conquer Africa, you really need uh, some good uh, tires and then you also get these alloy wheels which are quite nice. And also the good thing is these are quite uh, comfortable you know they are not uh, so uh, thin compared to other tires so definitely if you go to uh, places where there is a lot of sand you simply deflate them a little bit and then you will be able to conquer those terrains easily so yeah right now you can see there we are looking at uh, the view mirror uh, it is uh, quite simplistic so these particular vehicles guys when people buy these they don't normally buy for like a lot of uh, sophisticated technology and all that it is a car for you to enjoy the nature of africa it is the car for you just to, to have that long drive you know where you're traveling from country to country and enjoy yourself and then there you've got a sidebar for those of you who are vertically challenged um, shout out to you my short people you are definitely able to get into this uh, vehicle eh? i'm not fighting with you guys but anyways uh looking at uh, this side as well uh very neat i must say guys uh this is absolutely stunning so price for this obviously uh this is uh quite expensive so price it starts from 1 million and 22 thousand rand so yeah so if you're in the market definitely uh go and test drive at uh, this particular vehicle in most cases also people who buy these vehicles they are not worried about consumption and all that uh, right because you're simply buying this uh, this vehicle rather for the purpose of enjoying and then at the back you can see there you've got your toyota logo and then lx v8 so and then also this is a four-wheel drive so it will conquer basically any terrain and then you also you've got um there you can connect whatever you want if you want maybe to pull uh, something you can hook it there and there that is your spare wheel so yeah if you exploring the world obviously you don't want to get uh, stuck overall i think it is uh, very nice so for all of you uh 76 gang please gather here register your presence by smashing that like button and also you 79 gang i haven't forgotten about you i'm still gonna do also a longer a video about the toyota 79 because it is one of the vehicles uh, that has been highly requested on this uh, platform anyways back to the 76 and there you can see guys you've got that snorkel so yeah you can go under water as well but don't try and pull uh, that titanic move otherwise we won't see you again so overall i think it is a very good uh, vehicle yeah if uh, most in most cases these vehicles you normally find them as well at game parks uh, they they are they normally use these uh, obviously to move around as you are going after animals and all that yeah so guys uh, let me know what you think of uh, this one between this one and the 79 uh, which one would you go for personally i'm still a big 79 uh, fan i would go for a 79 any day anyway when you open the vehicle this is what you will see so for a million if you thought you would get leather seats well 
unfortunately you won't so simplistic as well you can see there you've got um, sort of like your cloth are finishing so which is okay you can see your controls on the door there so you can lock your door and then you can lock your windows they even write for you to remind you and then your windows are electrically uh, operated and then that's where you open the door and then that storage con uh, compartment there not so big and then you've got uh, these are uh, floor mats in my own opinion i think it will be wiser if you get a rubber mat as well and then there if you pull that you can open your bonnet obviously there is no way i was not gonna open that bonnet because i really wanted to see uh, what is underneath uh, this vehicle and then this is um your interior uh, you can see as well you've got your controls and then that's your dashboard you can see you've got your speedometer and your rev counter there and then your gauges for your uh, temperatures so for you to get into the vehicle obviously there is that uh, sidebar that you can make use of but maybe before we do that uh, once more you can see there are the seats so you get a cloth seats and then to adjust them you adjust them manually and then that is one of the levers so if you lift it like that uh, that's it it will uh, sort of like uh, move uh, forward or rather it will like fall uh, forward like that so if you want to recline it backwards you also lift it and then that's me there trying to move it forward but you know it's difficult when you try to move a whole seat when on the other side you're trying to also record right uh but overall i think it is uh okay so yeah and then right now we're just gonna jump inside and then for you to do that you simply hold there then you step there and then like a proper proper gentleman or woman you can then get into your vehicle and then when you are inside the vehicle this is what you will see definitely uh you can see there that is your center uh, console then with that uh, screen as well then at the top there you've got your hazards you've got air vents at the bottom you've got your climate controls then you've got also the secret lighter then you've got your gear stick there you see that uh, it is a five speed uh, manual uh, which is also a good uh, thing because yeah if you are driving there in the wilderness you don't want to be driving an automatic it's sort of like boring right uh yeah only 79 or 76 owners would understand so yeah there you see so that's me there i'm about to start the vehicle and then you've got your handbrake there just checking that it is uh, fully engaged and then there is your key quite simple and ordinary just like your old school key right uh, so for you to start the vehicle obviously you insert it there and then yeah you can start this uh, monster so i was really 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 happy guys just to have these uh, car keys and sort of like start this vehicle and just have that uh, feeling and when you're sitting there you feel like you're sitting on a commanding position and then when you start the vehicle there you see it is uh the screen is uh coming it's powering up so yeah it does uh take time right anyways uh if you're buying this vehicle you are not rushing anyway so yeah it should take your time because in most cases you still have to warm up the engine and stuff like that and then you have to check if everything you've packed everything and all that so yeah while it's still starting up you can check your events like i'm doing there to see that uh, there is nothing that is clogged um uh, just underneath there and then you can see there your view mirror very clear very clear and then at the top you've got your sun visor you are discovering africa so you don't need any glasses for you to do makeup and stuff like that you see you've got one purpose only to enjoy mother nature so don't expect to get mirrors and uh, for you to do uh, your makeups and all that overall i really like uh, this vehicle and then there you can see you've got your stereo it is on now and then you can uh, see you've got different options you can connect your phone via bluetooth you've got apple apple carplay and android auto as well and then you can go to your home screen you've got your apps and all that so pretty much you are covered on this particular vehicle and then that's me there trying to fool around just to see what else is on offer on this and then you even get uh, a tutorial so if you want to learn you simply uh, also use that as well and then you can connect to the internet obviously 
and then in the meantime just uh, listen to that engine as well So yeah guys if you are in the market uh definitely uh you can go and check this one out if you are in pumalanga uh, specifically in bombela you can go to toyota and you can go and check it out absolutely stunning i think this is really a masterpiece i really uh like how everything it is simple in this vehicle there is no way you will get uh, confused or try to figure out where is what uh, it is quite as uh, simple and uh, straightforward and in most cases usually uh, these uh, vehicles are made for you know like your older generation or people who have uh, driven vehicles uh, before not your first time buyers you know if you just finished college no 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 this one is not for you anyway checking at the back side of the vehicle as well you've got uh, your mats there um and then also your seats you've got your cloth seats you've got enough uh leg room for obviously for people that are sitting at the back and you also even get our uh, seat belts as well and then you've got that uh, long sort of like a bench so yeah if you've got a family you know all your kids they can fit there and then at the back as well you've got uh, more storage uh space and then um that's me there trying to figure out what uh does that one uh save and then uh, you can see and then once you get inside the vehicle you can see at the top there you've got uh, that light obviously for you to light maybe let's say if it's a dark and then you've got also another one there so yeah it looks the interior looks like an old uh vehicle but yeah like i've been saying that uh, this vehicle is not normally for you to be cruising in town and all that and then that's I'm not sure what you use that for maybe you put your coins or anything like that uh if you are a 76 or 79 owner there are uh, watching this video please let us know what do you use that um small storage uh, space for and then are uh, now moving uh towards uh, the back side of the vehicle you can see once more there is your spare wheel then for you to open you simply do like that and then you can open this part uh only if you want to access something quickly uh, you can do so and then if you want to open the whole thing uh, there is a lever uh, that you simply pull you can see there so once you pull that and then it will open this wall uh, space so yeah you get also this large large space so for those of you perhaps who do not know so at uh, toyota in terms of service and warranty for this particular vehicle it's optional on service plan or you can get a warranty for three years uh, for up to 100,000 kilometers and then at the back you can see there you've got uh, speakers as well so if you happen to have people at the back they also won't uh, really get uh, bored overall i think it is a good vehicle and then underneath there you've got your accessories for you to change your tires and all that you've got a triangle as well there should you be stuck on the road and then uh, so yeah which is a good uh, thing as well and then in terms of uh, safety it is an anti-theft uh, alarm system which is uh, good and then you also get your child locking uh, mechanisms as well within uh, this vehicle and then uh, there i'm not sure there if it is uh, for your water or if it is for uh, the engine uh, 79 or 76 owners please uh, let us know what is that uh, part for and then so yeah guys there you have it uh, that was uh, the boot area of this particular uh, vehicle so yeah quite large as well and then i remember earlier on that we opened uh, the bonnet uh, so we just gonna uh, open it once more and see what is underneath uh, this beautiful monster Perfect. so for you to open if you are a cameraman and then you're trying to record and all that it becomes a uh, difficult once more but anyways i managed to get it and then for me to put uh, the lever there uh, for me to support uh, rather this i had to put my phone just a little bit and then there you have it there is your v8 engine so yeah this is what powers this whole big uh, vehicle 
so yeah it is uh, still clean but obviously when you start adventuring i am pretty sure that that whole interior it will definitely change So if you've made it this far and you haven't liked uh, this video, please do so and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.